everybody, Michelle here with the Redesign Habit. Welcome to my video. Today's video is all about floor plans and more specifically, how to read one. Now, some of you out there may already have that knowledge and that's great. Maybe you'll still learn some little things that you didn't know before. And for those of you out there that aren't familiar with reading a floor plan, I'm going to tell you that it's good knowledge to have in your back pocket because you do see floor plans in magazines lots of times talking about the layout of a house or a room and it's just kind of nice to know what all that stuff means and it's something you can even use on your own with something as simple as wanting to rearrange a room so if you understand how to lay out the room and what the basic symbols are, you can save yourself a lot of heartache and back and forth with the actual furniture if you do it on paper first. So what we're gonna do in this video is I'm going to do a rendering on my computer of a floor plan. And a floor plan view is you've taken the roof off of the building or the room and you're looking straight down at it. So it's flat, it's one dimensional, there is nothing um, that looks like a, an actual house or a room when you're looking at the floor plan. And we're going to go over the basic symbols for some of the fixtures and the windows and the doors, etc. And then I'm going to do a dimensional rendering of that same space so that you can see what it looks like when the walls come up, the windows are in place, and how one translates into the other. So when we get to that next part, that's where we're gonna start and I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are looking at the rendering of the top half of the floor plan that I drew up for you guys. So this is a floor plan of a great room in a house and you'll see the heading on the top left corner there with a date, that's always on there. And then your north arrow, which gives you the orientation of the space you're looking at. Floor plans typically are drawn with north being up. Um, so as you look at the floor plan, you're going to see several things called out. Uh, the walls, the difference between an interior and exterior wall, what the window symbol looks like. Um, you've got a door there that goes from inside the kitchen area to outside. So that's actually an exterior door and it's on a hinge. It shows you how far out the door swings. That's what the arc is. As you look through the floor plan, you're gonna see some things I marked and some things I didn't. If I mark every single symbol, it becomes too hard to tell what is what. You know, you call out small spaces like a closet, or in this case, it's a pantry, um, the symbol for a pocket door that leads into the pantry, and then along that back wall at the top there, um, where the window and the exterior wall are, is a row of cabinets, and in that row of cabinets, you've got a refrigerator on the left-hand side and in front of the window, a sink. Um, again, I didn't call out every single thing because it really muddies up the drawing. But, and then finally at the bottom, you see over here on the right-hand side, you know, that's just telling you what the base cabinet symbol looks like, what the upper cabinet symbol looks like. And those little symbols that are on those upper cabinets, that's under cabinet lighting. So that's kind of the basics of a floor plan. And this is the top half of the room. So we're gonna to move to the bottom half and talk about what we see on there. And then we'll move on to actual renderings in 3D of the rooms so you can see what they look like as a real room looks. Okay, so here we are in the bottom half of the floor plan of this great room. And the first thing you're gonna notice is the island in the middle. Um, and the island has a cooktop on it. And there we see the range hood that's over the cooktop. We've got bar stools um, at the eat at, eat at counter that's attached to our island. Sorry, I'm having a hard time enunciating that for some reason. And then over on the right side here, we've got you know the base cabinets and the upper cabinets called out. Um, Further to the right, we see a deck, which is outside of those sliding patio doors that lead from the great room to outside to our beautiful deck. And then at the very bottom is a doorway symbol. And of course we know a doorway just means there's, in this case, there's no door there. It's just an open 
spot in the wall that allows you to walk from one area to another without having an actual door in place. It's just the doorway. So that is what this looks like on the bottom side of the floor plan. And now we're going to move to the two renderings in 3D so you can see what this room really looks like as a room. at the floor plan drawings and the renderings that I generated from those drawings. And while I know those to a lot of people may seem very basic, I know for a fact there are also a lot of people who've never even really looked at a floor plan, much less understand what they're looking at if they do look at one. And I'm here to tell you about floor plans because I think they can be useful to you just in your own home. Maybe you're dreaming of a new kitchen, you can sketch it out. Maybe you want to rearrange your living room, but you don't want to go through the, all the hassle of moving everything 10 times till you find a way that works. Well, floor plans give you the power to do that on paper without breaking your back. So floor plans do have value to just the everyday DIYer, and that's why I kind of wanted to share the very basics with you. As we move along, I'll share some more detailed things if there's interest or I come up with something that I think would be really helpful. Remember, my channel here is kind of a teaching tool. It covers all different kinds of areas, so keep that in mind. And don't forget to visit the website. If you have questions, you can reach me there by filling out a form submission and it will come straight to my email free of charge, no problem. You can also leave a comment down here if you have a question in the description box. And as always, don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of new videos. Don't forget to hit subscribe. That really helps us. And um, don't forget to visit the website when, when you're looking for something fun to peruse in your online ventures. And that's it for this video, guys. And we will see you in the next one.